Hey guys, this is Eddie again. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to uh, open up this canister vent shut valve on a Honda just so I could show you guys what's going on inside of it. Uh, this one's working, but uh, I'm just going to dismantle it and uh, take it apart and just show you what exactly is going on. Uh, basically, if the valve isn't working, it's leaking on the inside. So let's take it apart and see what we find on the inside of this thing. Okay, as you can see, I uh, lifted up these four tabs, this one, this one, and underneath, that's all it is, that's your your port. You got a spring here, and basically the spring pushes down on this diaphragm. The solenoid is inside, down in here, and when it energizes, it goes down like this and allows the vapors to pass through. And when it de-energizes, it goes up like that and closes off the port. And basically that's that's how it works. It's pretty simple. So what happens is either this o-ring here can start leaking to the to the out to the atmosphere or this diaphragm won't shut all the way because of uh, it's funny but you can get spider webs in here and you can also get moisture in here so if there's a slight leak in here that'll also uh, kick the check engine light on and uh, if the solenoid stops working that's when it really kicks the code uh, and then uh, as you can see in my other video with the 9 volt battery you can just energize it and see if it's working uh, so I thought that'd be kinda interesting to take a look inside Okay, so basically I took it one step further. This is your plunger. That's what cuts off the vacuum going to the canister. Then I took off this metal piece. Back up a little bit there. And then you just have, you know, this is another plunger. And it must be uh, some windings down in here that energize this. You know, it must be the, what energizes the, the coils in this to move up and down in the shaft over here because it just goes in here like this and that's you know spring loaded so when it energizes it sucks it down when it de-energizes it pushes it back up and basically that's what's in a uh, canister pinch shut valve and I hope this was interesting <laughs> it wasn't for me I just wanted to see what really went on inside there so if I have any questions or uh, comments just leave them in the box below I appreciate it thanks